Men were using what is literally a medieval acid recipe to extract gold. Pollution has ruined the town. Drinking water is trucked in. Scientists have studied the area and discovered that Guayu has the highest levels of cancer-causing dioxins in the world. They found that pregnancies are six times more likely to end in miscarriage and that seven out of ten kids have too much lead in their blood. Open, uncontrolled burning of plastics, chlorinated and brominated plastics, is known worldwide to cause the emission of polychlorinated and polybrominated dioxins. These are among the most toxic compounds known on Earth. We have a situation where we have 21st century toxics being managed in a 17th century environment. The recyclers are peasant farmers who couldn't make a living on the land. Destitute, they have come by the thousands to get eight dollars a day. Greenpeace introduced us to some of them. They were afraid and didn't want to be seen, but these are the hands that are breaking down America's computers. The air I breathe in every day is so pungent, I can definitely feel it in my windpipe and affecting my lungs. It makes me cough all the time. If you're worried about your lungs and you're burning your hands, do you ever think about giving this up? Yes, I've thought of that. And why don't you? Because the money's good. It, it struck me, talking to those workers the other day, that they were destitute and they're happy to have this work. Well, desperate people will do desperate things. But we should never put them in that situation. You know, it's, it's a hell of a choice between poverty and poison. We should never make people make that choice. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look, at, look at the Ash River here. Oh, oh my man, goodness. Is, uh, it's unbelievably acrid and <coughs> choking. What, what, what are we seeing here? This is an Ash River. This is the detritus from burning all this material, and this is what the kids get to play in. After a few minutes in the real recycling area, we were jumped. Several men struggled for our cameras. The mayor hadn't wanted us to see this place, and neither did the businessmen who were profiting from it. They got a soil sample that we had taken for testing, but we managed to wrestle the cameras back. But the question is, what, what are they afraid of? They're afraid of being found out. This is smuggling. This is illegal. A lot of people are turning a blind eye here. And if somebody makes enough noise, they're afraid this is all going to dry up. Back in Denver, there was no threat of it drying up. In fact, it was a flood. And Brandon Richter, CEO of Executive Recycling, was still warning of the dangers of shipping waste to China. You know, I just heard actually a child actually died over there from um, breaking this material and just giving all these toxins. Then we told him we'd tracked his container to Hong Kong. This is a uh, photograph from uh, your yard, the executive recycling yard. Uh -huh. We followed this container to Hong Kong. Okay. And I wonder why that would be. Okay. The Hong Kong customs people opened the container okay. and found it full of CRT screens, huh. which as you probably know is illegal to yeah, absolutely. export to yeah. Hong Kong. Yep. I don't know if that container was filled with glass. I doubt it was. We don't fill glass and CRT glass in this container. This container was in your yard, filled with CRT screens and exported to Hong Kong, which probably wouldn't be legal. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah, it's not. It was not filled in our facility. But that's where we filmed it, and it turns out we weren't the only ones asking questions. Hong Kong Customs intercepted the container and sent it back to Executive Recycling Inglewood, Colorado. The contents were listed as waste, cathode ray tubes. U.S. Customs x-rayed the container and found the same thing. We showed Richter the evidence, and later, 
His lawyer told us that the CRTs were exported under Executive Recycling's name, but without the company's permission. I know this is your job, but unfortunately, you, you know, when you attack the small business owners like this and you don't have all your facts straight, it's, it's unfortunate, you know. You can... But here's one more fact. The Federal Government Accountability Office set up a sting in which U.S. investigators posed as foreign importers. Executive Recycling offered to sell 1,500 CRT computer monitors and 1,200 CRT televisions to the GAO's fictitious broker in Hong Kong. But Executive Recycling was not alone. The GAO report found that another 42 American companies were willing to do the same.